I want to thank Aaron Voorgies mm. for giving me a nice weekend. I just want to say that out loud because Kevin, I mean Kevin, he, uh, uh, Aaron left today, and Aaron before he left, he's like, "Hey man, you have a good time." You know, tell everybody how much of a good time you had on the show. I'm like, I will. <laughs> Make sure you let everybody know. Like, what, what you, what, what's that going to do? Yeah, what are you, a tour guide now? <laughs> give me a good review yeah, on Yelp. Yeah. <laughs> and hey, if you had a good time, let, let everybody know and give me a good review and rating, yeah, okay? Yeah. Get on TripAdvisor right, and give me a write-up. <laughs> okay. Sure. All right. That's funny. Everybody in Italy, we, 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 we would tell them how good the food or service was. They were always like, well, make sure you write something on TripAdvisor. <laughs> I I, I, tell you if it ends on a a trip advisor. I didn't want homework, but yeah, okay. (laughs) Aaron took me to Aaron took me to this thing called the Grotto, Mm. and the Grotto is 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 this preserve? It's this uh, wildlife small wildlife preserve, and I'm gonna show you a picture of it here. It's actually show you not just a picture. I'm gonna show you a video. So okay, I always think of the grotto is where Bill Codger used to roofie girls at the Playboy Mansion. Well, he might have here. It's very secluded. <laughs> it's a very romantic spot. <laughs> I mean, ain't nobody around. Oh, wow, that's true. <laughs> you can yell help all yeah. you want. <laughs> wow, yeah. that's cool, man. Yeah. So you know, as you fade out, <laughs> you know the last thing you see. <laughs> wow. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> No. <laughs> 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 <Anyway>. <laughs> no. <laughs> the low, low, low. <laughs> now the grotto is this nature preserve in Austin, in South Austin, and is it on the way to Dripping Springs? Yeah, yes. Yeah, out by the Austin Zoo. Past that. Okay. Yeah, I forgot. Oh, because there's a lake out there, or some. Some pool or something. Anyway, I, I forgot what it's called, but it's in South Austin. If you look up the grotto, because I had a friend of mine, she she saw it on Instagram. She said, where is that place? And I said, just look up the grotto. And she picked it up real quick. She said, is this it? And I was like, yeah. This is a, this is a cool backstory here. Because, as you see, what it is, it's this trail, and it's this wooded area that's protected. And it's also this cave with this natural springs, this natural pond right here. Has its own natural ecosystem. Like you can't even touch certain things. Otherwise, I you, know why. It is. Otherwise, the oil from your skin will just kind of throw everything off balance, man. Wow, wow. It's like that that uh, that story, Sound of Thunder. Sound of, that man. Everybody kept talking about that on the trip. <laughs> you know, you just if you if you kick one rock or kill one butterfly. Don't you step on a butterfly? Yeah. God damn it! Now yeah, you ruin everything. Now you. Go through time, come back as nuclear devastation <laughs> and shit. This place is completely gone. It's just a desert. But yeah, man, it's very beautiful. It's amazing. I know it was there until Aaron went to go uh, uh, take us out there. Mm-hmm. And the cool story here. Oh, that's another thing. They got like it's so safe that snakes just cool out on rocks and don't worry about people passing uh, by. Ah, fuck. I was just thinking like, oh, this would be a cool place to take my wife, but <laughs> she's got a phobia of snakes. Well, you can't even. Well, the, like the snakes don't bother nobody. They actually got a snake named Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy the snake. <laughs> I think he was in a in a Martin Scorsese movie at one time. What's up, baby? <laughs> they call me Jimmy the Snake. <laughs> Come see me in the cave. I got something for you. <laughs> no, Jimmy just cools out on rocks, man. Because and every day he has this one rock he likes to go to because nobody bothers him. He don't bother nobody else. Mm-hmm. And if he's out there, you just you know the tour guy says just get a stick and just move him along, and he goes to his place. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, like. Like, nature really is cool, man. Like, people take nature for granted. Like, nature, people just fuck up nature and they kill animals because they're scared of them or they feel dominance over them. And it's and you go to a place like this and it just lets you know just how fucked up humans are, man. And and the, that's the story behind it. So, this is, <laughs> this is how it got started, this place, as a preserve. Yeah. Like, this, it was a bunch of frat dudes went out there to the grotto. And tore that motherfucker up. They partied for days. Went out there and just destroyed nature. Yeah. They destroyed it so bad that one of them frat dudes felt guilty. Oh. Yeah, he's like, God. Because when everybody was done and everybody left and they just left trash and everything everywhere, he's like, God damn. He's like, we're, we're shitty people. Uh-huh. <laughs> and somehow later on he was able to raise some I money and get why. some money. And he use the money to buy the land oh to buy this preserve and they went out there 
him and a, and a and a partner of his. Yeah. They went out there and cleaned it all up. They had over a hundred bags of trash. Wow. That they got rid of, and they said the only thing green that was really left after they got through destroying this place was glass. Oh. Yeah. It was. Yeah. They just. Yeah. They just. They totally, they totally destroyed this place, man. And so, the guy back in 1973, he bought it. And just said, no, nah, and frat dudes came back, hey, the yeah, wicked, yeah, like, get yeah, the but... fuck out of here. <laughs> get out of here! <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you start throwing bottles at me, like, oh no, this will destroy the ecosystem. <laughs> Boom, get out of here! But yeah, he chased them off, man. And uh, since 1973, uh, there's been places where no people have been allowed to step on, uh-huh. go to, and just this one trail is just for you to go and take pictures with and look at it and hopefully learn something and you leave. So it was cool, man. We did that and had dinner, went to an escape room. Well, I'm sure they made it easier for us. Went to an escape room. Well, you you, you got out, so. (laughs) Oh, I got to show you this picture, too. This cool-ass picture of me from, from, uh, I love this, man. You got to see this cool picture of me. This cool picture of me, man. Oh, let me show you something, Martin. Oh, shit. Show me. If I ever make, hey, if if y'all need a new Indiana Jones, call me, man. (laughs) Oh, wow. Yeah, that's that does look, look cool. Da, 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 yeah, da, da, that's the poster to my latest adventure film. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, you're right. You can put the movie title above it. Yeah, and the credits down below. Waco Coleman <laughs> <laughs> and the Cave of Wonders. <laughs> I love the way Aaron said. You look at this picture; it feels like you inside of a kaiju's mouth. <laughs> oh yeah, right there in the tongue, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, you're right. 